guys, welcome back to my channel. I have once again been influenced by influencers and Instagram and I am now on the stick on nail thing trend. <laughs> so today we are testing out the brand Glowy by her apparently um, and if you're interested in seeing other brands I know there's one that's like acrylic and I can't think of any of the others off the top of my head but I am curious to try all of them <laughs> because that's the type of person I am but anyway today we're gonna to be doing a little bit of a first impressions review situation of these ones so I'll pop like some pictures from their social media and stuff on here while I'm opening this up um, and it has been a little while since I ordered these and they did take a really long time to come um, so I can't remember what style I have picked also my voice is still a bit funny because I'm filming this the exact same day that I filmed my previous video from last week but anyway so in this little pack you get your um, receipt <laughs> little Kai's here with me of course what video would it be if I didn't have a dog annoying me a little thank you card like marketing kind of situation an alcohol prep pad a little stick of their own glue and the nail so this is apparently the style that I grabbed I am gonna take this packaging plastic it's like plastic wrap on the top of them um this is the style I grabbed so just like white tip simple kind of nail Ooh. so when you open it up it has your little like display situation on the front here and then I'm assuming that this is filled up with nails and yes so this is gonna be <laughs> So there's a whole bunch of nails in there. There's a little cuticle pusher thing. And I don't know if you can see or not, but there's also the little, um, these. So the little sticky pad things. So you can either use, I've lost it already, the glue or like the sticky pads. Um, they obviously, all of these brands across the board recommend that if you're using this, it will last a bit longer these will generally last like a day or two um, if that so we're gonna try with the glue today I am gonna just do the intro and then I will finish this video up after like a week or so to let you know how they have gone but I am going to rearrange you a little bit here and we're gonna pop some nails on see how they are let's do it all right the application process is pretty straightforward they give you a little nail file so you can buff your nails up a little bit just to give them a bit of texture which helps the glue stick a little bit better it did take me a really long time to sort through them all and pick the nails that i wanted to use which are those ones just there then i went through and began gluing them all on one by one i did use the little cuticle thing to push my nail beds down a little bit as well um, and then I just went through the process one by one sticking them on um, I do recommend not getting interrupted during this process at one point I got a tiny bit of the nail glue on my skin and boy was it a bitch to pull my skin apart it is very strong glue um, although this nail did pop off so I had to reattach the thumb twice um, so this process took me about 20 minutes and once I've done I just went over all the little corners corners the points and file those up a little bit and I was done okay applied first thoughts um I immediately am loving just the length <laughs> and having my nails this long again just feels fantastic and very like mm. if you're like a nail person that hasn't had nails for a while you know what I mean um second thought is they aren't the best quality um i could have if i wasn't being lazy spent some time kind of shaping them a little bit like both of the thumb ones are a smidgen too big and the middle fingers as well are slightly too big um but i couldn't be bothered so really that's my own, own fault but they so fit wise some of them fit really nicely, some of them need a little bit of work so you can just kind of customize them to your nails, which I didn't do, but they are quite 
like clearly plasticky stick on nails. These were on the cheaper side of all the different like brands and stuff I was looking at. So not surprised, doesn't really bother me because I kind of knew what I was getting when I paid for them. Um, I do like the pattern. It's nice to just have them done. It's super quick and easy. The glue, don't let yourself get distracted because I got distracted by Evan at one point and stuck my fingers together and immediately it hurt like a bitch to get that apart. And now my finger is like all gluey and gross. So really strong glue. Um, so that's a thing, <laughs> positive or negative, whichever way you take it. Um, so I can't envisage them kind of coming off very easily. They, like I'm tapping on the ground quite hard and they're pretty sturdy. So we will see how long they last. I did file like the tips a bit because each of them kind of had a little, like just a tiny little bit of plastic. Like they've obviously been made and snapped off a mold. Does that make sense? Not sure. But anyway, I am going to wear these for however many days and see how they last. And then I will check back in with you guys to give you a proper, fully formed review. So, yay. Pretty good. <laughs> Not even 24 hours later. <laughs> um, I think that probably plays to the fact that the thumb ones didn't perfectly fit. Didn't notice it fall off. I'm assuming it happened in, in cold. Um, but sad. Now it looks real tacky because like without one, not good. Alrighty, it is a week later. Please don't mind my wet hair. I'm trying to avoid heat as much as I humanly can. Clearly I do not have the nails on anymore. So let me sum my thoughts up for you. First big one, the user error of not filing the nails down totally worked against me. That was 100% my laziness and it mattered, it mattered <laughs> in the end, okay? So just take the time, like take a smidge, a little bit of time to make sure that they do perfectly fit to your nails because that didn't help. As you like just literally just saw, I lost one of the thumb ones less than a day after I had put them on it. I applied them at about four or five in the afternoon. We were at the supermarket at nine o'clock in the morning it had popped off. So it was less than a day. It didn't, didn't do well. I did find the nail at the end of my bed where I'd gotten dressed that morning. So it had fallen off like before I was even at the supermarket. So it really didn't last long because it wasn't, it just wasn't the right shape. It was too big and it was just too easy to pop off. So that was my bad. That was my fault. I did end up filing it down and sticking it back on once I had found it and it did stay on a little bit better. So there's that. However, I was not super impressed with the like overall longevity of the nails in general. Um, by about day three or four, they were all gone. They'd all popped off. Um, that is because by the end of that night, I was just ripping them off because I had, I think I had three on this hand and two on this hand who were missing. And I was like, I can't. <laughs> Even just not having one, it was bothering me. Um, so not having five nails, over 10 fingers was a problem. Do you mind? I think the saying you get what you pay for really applies here. These were one of the cheaper brands though, I will admit that. However, I was quite gentle. I didn't do anything super like aggressive other than that clip you saw me do with the laptop at the start. The most I did with my fingers is typing. Um, so there's really no reason why they shouldn't have lasted a long time, um, especially once I had filed them down to be the perfect size. After that, they should have stayed for at least a week, maybe. Um, they did not. I think I would probably compare them to like the ones you can get from Kmart, um, which are miles cheaper. I think they are definitely slightly better quality than that, but for what you're getting, I would rather pay even less and just get the Kmart ones. What I do think they would be fantastic for is a shorter period of time. So if you had an event or you just wanted to have pretty nails for the weekend or something, I think that would be totally fine for that. I just don't think they're meant for like long-term everyday kind of life because they just really didn't stand up 
to the test of time <laughs> and the time was only three days so it's really not that impressive but if it was like as I said like a wedding or something you want to go to where you just want to have nice pretty nails I think they would be amazing for that because they did look great I got a lot of compliments in the first couple of days so I would recommend them for that situation however um, if you're in that situation there are cheaper alternatives you do get quite a lot that does come with the kit so that's cool um, but yeah I would say definitely more of a short-term thing than anything else I can also say that I am 100% at the stage in my life where I'm done with being a long long nail person I immediately am loving just the length <laughs> And having my nails this long again just feels fantastic and very like <laughs> she was wrong it was so annoying so annoying the dogs did love getting the scratches on their heads so but so annoying I can't handle it anymore some of the companies do come with shorter ones though so next time I would opt for those which is a bummer because the long ones are just so so pretty they're absolutely beautiful so to wrap up I would say that you do get what you pay for but they are also fantastic for just a short period of time. Just make sure you put the effort in before you actually apply the nails because that was my mistake at the beginning. And that is all I have to say about that. So yeah. Let me know in the comments down below if there are any brands that you recommend or that you're interested in and you would like me to try so that you don't have to. Um, and I will check all of those out. But other than that, I will see you guys next week. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you then. <laughs> that was bad. Sorry. <laughs> Bye guys.